Hey guys, how y'all doing? It's been a little minute, you know? I say that because, um, I say that because um, I say all the time that I wanna make um, a video at least once a week, you know, for our channel. So I apologize that I have not kept up that promise. Um, as I do YouTube, I'm figuring out, I'm learning that you absolutely have to have like a plan, um, downtime and things like that. So um, I got downtime. Actually, all my kids are still here, but they're sleeping. So um, I have a day planned for us. That's why I'm up and I'm ready. But you know what I mean by like having downtime where the kids are not like calling me, fighting in the background and um, things like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you have to plan these things out. You really do. I, um, I highly recommend doing YouTube as a hobby. I really do. Like it's a really good hobby um, to have. So today's video, I'm so excited to share with you um, all the makeup. I had to re-up all my makeup and I want to apologize because I started to open some of the things that I was excited about. Like these two, I'm going to just start with these two things because I already started to open them and I was like, wait, I should wait till I'm on camera. So we're going to act like I didn't already open um, this um, foundation stick. So today's video is dedicated to my makeup lovers. Okay, so um, I wanted to share with you guys makeup that I found um, to be affordable, but also good quality. And um, I want to share something with you at the end too. So we're going to start with, we're going to start with these because I already started to open them. Now I am not um, a beauty blending like kind of girl, you know what I mean? I did already open this one. I got these from the Dollar Tree. These, um, excuse me, low battery. Hold on. I got these two beauty blenders from the Dollar Tree and um, I can't wait to try them. They're, they're all like spongy and everything like that. So let's try this one. Um, so th this is the funny thing too. I, I, I'm like, I'm going to try these beauty blender sponge thingies because I'm always using brushes because when I see other people use, you know, beauty blenders, I don't like the fact that the makeup is still on the beauty blender afterwards. Okay. Don't judge me. I don't know. That's why I'm like a brush person. But I was like, I'm hearing that I've got some makeup on my nail. I'm hearing that beauty blenders absolutely blend in your makeup better. So I feel like I can feel why. Um, okay, so that's that. This was also at the Dollar Tree when I went in to um, get these beauty blenders. I actually didn't go in for beauty blenders. I went in there for like other things and I walked out with two beauty blenders and um, this foundation stick. They have in my shade, which is very rare, <laughs> Um, the foundation that I already wear only um, I got this one this Maybelline fit me foundation it's very popular um, this is in the shade espresso for um, my melanated girls like myself this is um, 380 espresso but I already wear this foundation that we're gonna try with this beauty um, blender but yeah, I already wear the Maybelline Fit Me Espresso Foundation. This is, I'm gonna say no more than 12 bucks. I, I, I'm sorry I didn't save the receipt for everything, but I'm gonna tell you like some of the prices like in between, like, cause I can't remember. Um, and I apologize what everything costs, you know what I mean? But I, it is affordable, I promise. Maybelline's foundation is really good. It is affordable. I'm gonna try that with that beauty blender. But I found this next to the beauty blenders this is also um maybelline's um super stay stick foundation and i know stick foundations are kind of popular okay this is a dollar 25 worth i feel we'll get our money's worth out of that but here's what i thought was really cute and this is what really sold me is that the other side is a um a sponge a beauty um, blender sponge so that that's what sold me I may keep this in my purse and like this one on my dresser you know what I mean 
so I can't wait to try it out. And so I don't know where um, you're necessarily from. Maybe you can tell me in the comments, that'd be neat. But right now, um, at the Dollar Tree near me, they're selling Maybelline sticks for $1.25 and they do have um, espresso. Espresso, I hope I'm saying that right. I wanna try this sponge real quick. Um, I do have on lipstick and a little bit of um, eyeshadow. I'm like, what is this called? Oh, oh my gosh, I feel like I put on too much. I never put on this much like mascara. What are you doing? <laughs> it feels nice. Okay, well, I can absolutely already see what the hype is about. Yeah, this absolutely will blend in your foundation a whole lot better. Okay, I, I, I get it. Oop, there goes that downtime I was talking about. I hear my two-year-old. Where's my mommy? That's what she just said. That's what she just yelled out. All right. Yeah, I can see what the hype is about. It will clearly yeah and i put on a lot too so i know there are different kinds of um you see me i'm so used to brushing beauty blenders but the one from the dollar tree ain't bad either okay we put that aside and we're gonna move on to let's move on to lipstick so this is a lipstick. Let's move on to this brand, actually, Milani. So the makeup artist that I follow on YouTube, her name is Destiny Godly. She had did like a tutorial on a bunch of lipsticks from Milani. And this is the lipstick that I'm wearing right now. I usually go for the like um, CoverGirl is um, also another good brand, but I usually go for the Burgundies. Um, I usually go for this, hi Muthi, I usually go for this burgundy um, cover girl or any kind of um, burgundy um, liquid lipstick. I love liquid lipstick, as you can tell. And um, I got these, D, the brand is DNM. It came with a pink one too, but I gave that one to my daughter because I just wasn't feeling that one for me but it came with this burgundy one and this purpley one. But, but you see what I'm saying. I, I usually go for like the, the dark burgundy purpley like lipsticks. Um, but my um, YouTuber um, expert artist, um, she had tried a bunch of these um, liquid um, lipsticks from Milani and she tried on a bunch of like different brown ones and well, I had to do it. I forget. This one is not as, um, I forget how much this one cost. It's not like cheap, cheap, but it's, um, I don't know. It's, I want to say no more than $11. You know what I mean? I don't know what is like out of like, to me, I'm trying to keep everything under $20. So when I say affordable, I mean everything under $20. I should just say that. If it's like super, super cheap, I'm going to um, I'm going to say that. Um, so this Milani brand is really good. It smells really good too, like a chocolatey, ooh, like a chocolatey wine, you guys. So since we're on lipstick, and I got a bunch of different brown, um, I only brought this one downstairs, but I had to get a bunch of, they're so pretty. I got this at Walmart. So if, you, if you're in Walmart, and you come across um, the Milani brand. It's the Milani brand eyeshadows, the Milani brand lipsticks, and the Milani brand setting spray is really good too. So of course we gotta set our makeup when we're done doing our makeup. This is the Milani um, Make It Last Dewy Finish, which is really popular right now. That dewy look is really popular right now. And I really like it too. I like that like, you know, <laughs> when to kiss your cheeks look. You know what I'm saying? So um, I got, and this is just a, another suggestion. Um, this Wet n Wild primer is like no more than five bucks. Um, and it's really good. It's also dewy. So this is just like a little suggestion. I suggest 
that your primer, you know, that you use, um, you use your primer before you put on any makeup to prep your beautiful canvas. And um, I use the dewy one, but there are so many different, um, you know, primers. There's like Luminex, there's like Glow, there's Dewy. Um, but I, I, I don't know, I'm gonna suggest that your primer, what you start with, and then what you set your makeup with, what you finish with, I think that it's a good idea for them to match. So my primer is dewy, and my setting spray is also dewy. It gives me a super dewy look, like it looks really nice, I kid you not. And so I suggest the same for you. While we're on setting spray though, this is also another good setting spray. I actually started with this setting spray before, um, I discovered the brand Milani and got that one, but this is Hard Candy. Hard Candy is um, a very good um, brand of makeup as well. You know, they have everything as well, but I got the setting spray at first and I got it because I was like, okay, you know, it sets, um, this is the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Glow Setting Spray 12 Hour Wear um, with hydration and coconut oil and radiant pearls, okay just read the whole bottle to you but um it i got it because it has a glow and when i tell you guys that this setting spray has a glow now i am not kidding i'm not kidding i i never i will never forget the first and last time i wore this on my face i set my makeup and then i just you know i did one of those numbers to dry it, and then i walked away i kid you not i was gold 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 my whole like my makeup was in place everything was still there right we're still lit but we definitely are glowing gold so if that is <laughs> take it easy if you're gonna get the um hard candy setting spray now though i know there's like body glitters and you know um what is it um body glitters and then like body shimmer that you can like put on you do you see what i mean look at that and I don't, I just let it dry that you can buy from the stores. I don't have to buy any of that right now because I have this setting spray. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, I'm sorry. It's so funny. Like, but I kid you not, I was walking out gold. And do you see what I mean? It's starting to dry gold. So if you like your setting spray, if you want um, a glow in your, in your setting spray, then I do suggest that your primer is also um got a glow to it but do you see what i mean i don't know if i like spray too much i'm gonna spray some like on the back of my oops spread my arm on the back of my hand but that's fine too because i have a thing for that might be too much we might on the arms oops <laughs> we're gonna be gold by the time <laughs> My kids, it's so cute. Um, they know when I'm recording, like my two-year-old just came down here and she went right back upstairs to wake up her big sister. I'm gonna just put some, you know, there. But um, that is this um, setting spray. Okay, Hard Candy is a good brand too. We're gonna move on to our, I had to re-up on my, um, my highlighting palette because my two-year-old dropped it. And before I had like, I call it the rose gold palette. It's so pretty. And I'm still learning how to apply like a lot of things like highlighter. Where's my brush that says highlight and glow? I got these um, brushes, by the way. I also got these at Walmart. They're just a whole bunch of different colors. They're really cute. But um, they also have on the brushes what they're meant for here it is it says highlight and glow can you see that highlight and glow i feel like this brush is too big for highlight and glow but whatever so i call it the <laughs> rose gold palette before i got these colors i had um like just the golden palette where there was like a lighter a light gold and then on the other side was a dark gold that was also really pretty but i wanted to try it like this i call it like the rose gold palette and i really do like this one you can mix them too it's really pretty but i do already have some on it may look like right here that light that's right there that's actually makeup so highlight it just makes it look like you have you know the sun shining on 
your face all day and i only wear it right here guys because i i'm too scared to put it anywhere else like the experts they're like putting it on their cheeks and it says it too blush lighter that's what it says and i'm like i don't know how to like mix it with um my blush yet you know i'm not there so it does look really pretty on the bridge of my nose and hair and on my cupid's bow cupid's bow i think it's called we're gonna move on to mascara so this mascara i know it looks super super familiar this is the great lash big in the color black is black now my ladies know there are different shades of black when it comes to mascara and when it comes to eyeliner there's like gray black there's black there's very black and then there's black is black i always get black is black because i love really dark lashes and really long lashes like i like my lashes to come through the door before i come through the door okay and i that's one thing that i do want to try um eventually are like lashes i'm just afraid like i need i need to watch a tutorial somebody you know put me in the right direction on what tutorials to watch so that i can learn how to apply lashes because that's something that i really do want to try i think lashes are super pretty but um this i know looks familiar we all had like this um maybelline's um great lash mascara in um <laughs> in high school like in our bags in high schools like i feel like everybody started off like when we started really wearing mascara everyone started off with like the big remember the they still have them they're really still popular but the chunky cover girl ones like that came like purple and orange i always had the orange one or um or this one this one was so popular i remember but i wanted to show you guys this one so this is affordable i want to say no more than ten dollars um i bought this voluminous superstar x fiber um mascara when i was splurging on myself and i actually re-upped because it's like running out but even though this is running out i'm gonna save the brushes because this is what i noticed about this um mascara so again this is the voluminous superstar x fiber there's two sides to it there's one x x x x x, x, x <laughs> and then there is two x x, x, x x you see all those x's right so i hope that this will show on camera well this is the one x that i'm about to show you do you see that brush how at the I want to say towards the middle kind of it dips in it kind of makes this shape I can't oh I hope that it's coming out well on the camera I hope that it's showing well on the camera I really want to just show you guys the shape of the brush I think that's better but it dips in in the middle that's the one X it will have your lashes like so lit i kid you not if you have a thing for really long lashes this is the 2x this is it comes with two different brushes same mascara but just two different brushes and on this side i can, can you tell that I, it's been used a lot you see how that brush um it curves up this will have your lashes walking through the door before you i kid you not I was obsessed with this so um even when um because 2x the 2x side is running out but i still have mascara in the 1x side but i will be using this i'm safe safe i suggest like saving your really good brushes you can save them and then use them in other um you know mascaras like the 2x i'm gonna save that brush is what i'm trying to tell you and use it from time to time um with this um mascara you know what i mean you know what i mean so that's that i really wanted to show you guys that met those two mascaras especially the voluminous superstar so this is um an eye palette that i cannot live without i actually have on the dark brown shade i had to re-up on this one because um my two-year-old I, I, I feel like i'm blaming everything on her <laughs> or something but um it's the truth she dropped my my other one I had got that one off of um I, I got that one off of Amazon and um I was and she dropped that one I was so hurt and um 
usually when I get things offline, I'd be feeling like I can only find them online. So I was like, oh, I gotta go back on. I was I was re um, doing a little re up on my makeup supplies, and I seen this in Walmart. I forgot how much I paid for it, but I can assure you, it's very affordable. Um, Maybelline is just a really good brand. Maybelline is a really good brand, and uh, this palette is for every shade, I can assure you. It doesn't matter what shade, race, all of that, it don't matter. Ooh, I gotta sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my God. <coughs> ah, ooh. I do have allergies. I have my window open just a little bit so you can probably hear a lawnmower and I can smell the grass. So my allergies are, they're trying to kick in and be like, what up? Good morning. <laughs> Okay, um, I usually wake up, take two allergy pills, and um, I'm good for the day, but I didn't do that this morning. So back to this pad, um, this eye palette, I mean. It's good for um, every shade. Um, yeah, it's really pretty. It's, I can't, I have to, oh, is this the wrong side? No, it's not. I have to have this palette in my life. When it broke, I was like so upset. Why is the brush way up here? Okay. but it's really pretty and it would be it is it will be very pretty on whatever shade you are so i'm gonna show you my glitters palette i also got this one off of amazon um i want to say under 12 dollars. this is a really good quality palette um very pigmented i'm gonna open it up but i want to apologize for the way that it looks okay we've had some fun with it but also again i'm blaming my two-year-old that's why i'm like oh um like okay for example i never used this one okay for example i never used this one yet or this one yet my two-year-old did that right before i like literally i've had this video planned out for like i want to say four days now and i want to say not yesterday but the day before yesterday she got into this makeup palette because I had everything out and like stacked up and everything like that like you know I was prepping for the video so but um yeah she got to it so I apologize that it's not like super super pretty but it was so this is a glitters palette I got it off of Amazon very pigmented you guys very very pigmented um it will stay on your eyes um, long wear, I think I'm trying to say, you know, it's long lasting and all of that. Very pretty glitters. I kid you not, shining like diamonds, guys. Really, really pretty. I do recommend this glitters palette. Can you see the name? I can't say it. I can't say it. I can see it back here, but I can't say it. So I just want you guys to see it and see what I'm talking about. If you um, want to ever try because some people are skeptical about glitter but try it try it okay just try it try it once you never know if you like something unless you try it okay we all about encouraging the try over here okay okay you want to cut your hair do you want to dye it you want to add in some extensions do it try it you want to try that shade you want to try that outfit you want to try that look you know try it okay try it so um <laughs> this is another really good eye palette um, brand. Oh, <laughs> got it all upside down. I raved about this brand like when I first started doing like videos. So I went on my Facebook and um, was talking about Perfusions, um, Perfusion Cosmetics. They have a really good, um, they have really good eye palettes as well. Um, the names are fun. This is Sunkissed um yeah i have festival upstairs um this one i got for like the orange let me open it up yeah i love um these colors i got it for the orange i can't wait to try this one i got it for this and they have really pretty shimmer so guys shimmer is absolutely different from glitter um, these are shimmers. You see what I mean? This is gold glitter and this is gold shimmer. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was trying to see if they had another one like back to back like that that I could show you, but there is a difference. Okay. So this had some really pretty shimmers in it. 
and some glitters i wanted to try that like i don't know what to call it like a it's not pink it's it's like this because you know this is the glitter and then this is down here is the shade to it. it's just a normal okay i was really excited about this palette can you tell i was um again under 20 bucks i want to say two digits maybe two digits this eye palette very pigmented um the wear is also long lasting we're gonna go on to my favorite um my favorite um <clears throat> excuse me um makeup uh uh thingy that i own <laughs> okay um it's definitely my blush i love 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 blush i always wanted to wear blush and it wasn't until i came across my favorite makeup artist destiny godly's youtube channel that i got the confidence to wear blush because she's melanated like me and she did a video on blush once and i was determined i was obsessed and determined to find um every single shade that she tried on looked beautiful on her and i found i believe i found every shade in this palette i got this off of amazon as well this brand is called beauty treats i want to say this was under ten dollars i promise you though this blush will stay on all day it's really good i i wouldn't tell you guys anything less like i wouldn't tell you guys anything that was like super super cheap where it would come off in like one two or even like five hours I'm going to tell you where to get some affordable, good quality makeup, okay? So, this is Beauty Treats Matte Blush Palette. It's so pretty. I'm actually going to put some on. I already have some on, but I don't care, okay? Okay? I usually use this brush. I'm trying not to. I'm really trying not to. Is this my blush brush? Oh, I yeah, I think I already told you guys about these. Um, it says Precision and Contour. I don't know if that means um, blush as well, but I love this blush, y'all. I didn't fit enough on so that you can see. But I know that she called the color Russet, and this is the one that I'm always using. It literally goes with everything. I'm also obsessed with this one. Obsessed with this one. But these two are my favorite, but I can assure you that this color, this color, this color, this color, they look, oh, this color, I love this one too. They look so good. They look, I can assure you guys, who are <clears throat> melanated like me, that this eye palette is really, eye palette, <laughs> this makeup palette is really good as well. And again, I just wanna stress that You know, I always like share, you know, the things that I find that are really good for melanated skin because it is hard. There is no um, like shade, you know what I mean? So um, for my melanated girls, this eye palette, when I had put in the search box, I had put in blush for melanated skin. So, and they showed me a bunch of blush that was like, they you know recommended for melanated skin and also this one and i was like when i seen all the colors were in this blush palette that i had just watched um her do a tutorial on i got really excited but that blush can be for any um complexion okay you guys but i just wanted to stress um that because it is hard okay it is hard finding makeup that um that's why I was really shocked to find this um, stick in um, the Dollar Tree um, near me, actually. And they actually have it in my complexion, espresso. So, um, yeah, I was really shocked. <laughs> but, yeah, I do have to share things like that, okay? Next is also um, another, like, blush, but it's a highlighter. I don't know how to use, like um blush highlighter wait did i share this already i believe i shared this already if i didn't and i'm just tripping um no i did share this already didn't i sure did sure did we're not gonna go there i'm not gonna waste your time <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. 
Okay, wait, we shared these two. You know what it is? It's because I'm not putting everything over there. So let's move on to um, all my, my lovely um, lip liners. So this brand is a really popular brand. Um, LA Girl Lip Liner is a very popular brand. And um, I got the... Um, Mommy? Wait a minute, Kiara. I'm talking, okay? Mom. I'm talking, Muthi. Okay, she's two and... Okay, it is. This is embarrassing. Okay, Mo. Okay, we're going to have to hurry this along. So, um... <laughs> this is LA Liner. This is the LA Girl um, Lip Liner. And, um... I got this. <laughs> I swear. Um, but um yeah, so I'm like I lost my train of thought. I got these. I got a I got these um also off of Amazon and um I know you can buy them individually, but I just wanted to just get that over with and I bought a whole pack under twenty dollars. Um you can go on there and see how much they are, but I do recommend getting a whole bunch. I'm gonna leave those there for a second because I wanna share with y'all something. So while we're on the lip liners, voila, these, um, that's nice. These, um, oh, don't do that, Moo, because you're gonna um, drop the phone. So um, these um, lipsticks, this is the Wet n Wild um, lipstick. Now let me tell you, oh, that, let me back up a little bit. Um, Wet n Wild have some, y'all, they have some really pretty colors, um, this Wet n Wild lipstick. And it's only a dollar. Think like not even, like 98 cents. Some may be like a dollar 30 or something like that. But the thing is, you know how like sometimes you get what you pay for. Even though like I'm telling you things that, you know, are worth, are affordable and um, with good quality, everything I told you is affordable, good quality. I'm gonna be super duper honest about these wet and wild lipsticks. They are affordable, of course, 98 cents, a dollar 30, but sometimes you're gonna get what you pay for. You know what I mean? So the shades are so pretty. I was I'm like, when I see a pretty shade, I'm gonna get it. You know what I'm saying? Especially if it's affordable, whatever. Um, but here's something that I suggest. Whatever shade you're going to wear, if you if you do invest in invest <laughs> if you do um you know get uh, any wet and wild lipsticks to pair it with an eyeliner always have an eyeliner it just i know you can like you know manipulate your look a little bit to make your lips look like you know bigger or smaller or you know have a a, a cupid's bow but um always have a lip liner to do whatever if you're gonna wear like a really like cheap lipstick always pair it with a lip liner, okay? It'll make it look cleaner. It'll just make it look cleaner. That's why I love lip liner because it just makes um, my lip look cleaner. I don't do anything extra. I just outline my lip a little bit and it just, I feel like it makes it look cleaner. But with a cheap one, let me not get off topic, wear, um, absolutely wear a lip liner with that and set it, set it. And then of course, you know, you're gonna have to bag it because I'm I'm gonna be honest, this is a lipstick that will come off in like a couple of hours. Like I wanna say two hours, maybe a little less, like an hour and a half, you might have to reply. If you have that kind of patience, um <laughs> then yeah, but if you're like wearing a full face um full of makeup that day, if you you know, you're going all lit, all right, you're going all out and um you apply this, um, you know, you're wearing, you know, a cheaper um, lipstick. You set your makeup with your setting spray, and then you want to set your lips separately too. I promise you, it will give you a longer, it'll give you like two hours. Um, it'll give you about two hours, I want to say, before you have to like reapply. But setting spray, if your lipstick is any brand, any kind of brand, but on the cheaper side, set your lips okay eye eyeliner lip liner and set your lips i just wanted to share that with you is there anything else anything else anything else anything else
My daughter's over here. She needs my attention ASAP. Um, so I didn't read up on this, but I do want to share this lip gloss with you guys. I sell this lip gloss. It's Broadway brand. This is, yes, this is mine too. I also sell this lip gloss. These lip glosses are really popular right now. Um, a lot of um, small lip gloss businesses are selling these. I also have these. They're also for sale. So this is one. This is the coconut oil. This is the Broadway um, coconut oil. A lot of vitamins in here, you guys. It smells amazing. This smells like coconut. Um, of course, there's coconut oil in it, but it 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 it's and it's long lasting. I promise you. And it's just, it smells good. It's beautiful, you guys. I love this. I also have it in mint, and I also have it in um, rose. It's rose scented, and they smell amazing. The rose scented lip gloss smells amazing. It smells amazing. The mint smells really well too, and this coconut. They just they smell so well. When you put them on, you can absolutely feel the hydration, and um, it works amazing. So this is also another popular one um, sold in a lot of um, small lip gloss businesses right now. This is the Max um, lip gloss. You see what they did there? <laughs> Max. You see what they did there? But I got... Um, I got this in peach and I also have this in strawberry. And so you see how this is a little peach tinted. It will go on your lips this color. Like it, it's clear, but in the light, it'll have a really pretty peach tinted shine. The other one I don't have down here, but I did show it in other videos. It's strawberry and that one will have like a pink tinted um shine to everything so you guys thank you so much for hanging out with me um i really do love our time together let me know tablecloth let me know in the comments what your favorite makeup is and um makeup that you find affordable for you know um your everyday girl on a budget okay <laughs> be honest um and you know share that this is a community you know um be careful mama the tablecloth is gonna knock over the, the um the phone but this is a community you know let's like share with one another and things like that i know oh did i tell you guys about i did it my lip liner this is the elf lip liner it's just the satin one i do have i forget where the other one is i'm coming i'm coming mama i'm coming i'm coming I'm coming, Mama. I'm coming. <laughs> but this is the Elf Satin Lip Liner. I mean, eyeliner. I'm sorry, guys. This is the pencil. Really go goes on really dark. And you know, I every time I do anything like with eyeliner, I always tell you guys I like my eyeliner um, black, and I like my eyeliner, my mascara black too. This is um, in black satin. It it's really nice. She acting up, you guys. I gotta go. Um, I love you. You're beautiful and stay vigilant. You see that glow on my hands? That's the setting spray. Do you see the glow? That's what I mean by be careful with the hard candy setting spray, you guys. Okay? Bye, guys.